On the morning of Monday, January 9th, representatives of Oakland County and the city of Rochester gathered at Rochester Mills Beer Company to announce the return of the Fire and Ice Festival in downtown Rochester after a two-year absence. Committee Chair Dave Vanderveen welcomed those in attendance and introduced Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter to encourage residents to come out for two days of family-friendly fun. Well, if you don't like the cold, first of all, the fire pits are really warm. You can have a some more. You can have a, a drink of alcohol, which always helps keep you warm. Yeah, I get it. We all tend to hibernate a little bit in the winter, but we need good excuses to get out and fun things to do. And I, there's, I don't think there's a better event in Oakland County in the wintertime to motivate us to get off those couches. Uh, and football season's over now, so you don't have any more of that to watch. So, you know, come on out and have some, have some fun, have a cocktail, throw an ax, and have a great time at Fire and Ice. The first Fire and Ice Festival was held in 2008 under the leadership of Coulter's predecessor, the late L. Brooks Patterson. Organizers were forced to cancel the event in 2021 and 2022 due to the COVID pandemic, but plan on bringing back ice sculptures, ice skating, food and refreshments, and even a spectacular fireworks display on January 20th and the 21st. Downtown businesses will continue to light up the popular Big Bright Light Show on Main Street. I mean, no question, Brooks Patterson and his team helped stand this, organ this event up, uh, what, 16 years ago now? and. They got it right. It was a great event then. It's still a great event. We're just trying to, to uh, yeah, build on what they did. And like I said in the, in the press conference, even add a few things that will make it even more exciting. And, and especially with COVID over the last two years, we haven't been able to do it in this way for the last two years. So, yeah, building on the, the legacy that Brooks helped create with this event, we want to make it better than ever. And so uh, a tip of the cap to him. Tens of thousands of visitors are expected to attend the Fire and Ice Festival, which is free to the public. For more information, visit Fire and Ice Rochester on Facebook. In downtown Rochester, this is Marco Ifrady reporting for ONTV News.